Hey there, welcome to the 15th Easy JavaScript tutorial part of EasyProgramming.net. In the last tutorial, we covered the many array methods, which took some time. Uh, this tutorial shouldn't be as long. Uh, and at the end of the last tutorial, we looked at the sort method. And I mentioned that this method can get quirky when you're dealing with numeric values in your array. In this tutorial, we're going to look at what happens when you try to sort numeric values and how you can get around the little issues that JavaScript throws at you. So, sorting numeric values in a race may give you unexpected results. I should say unexpected results. Let's do quickly fix my errors. Uh, unexpected results. And the sort method compares not just values, but the characters within the values to determine which order the values should be listed in. So, let's say that we have the number 153 and a number 5. When you use just the sort method as is, it'll actually say that the number 153 is less than 5. And it's because it's comparing the one, the first one here, to the five. And one is less than five, so it does it that way. So um, if you're familiar with how the ASCII sorting works, this is kind of similar. So let's look here. Uh, I declared a variable called num, uh, an array called num, and I assigned it these values. So if I do console log num, let's see what it looks like. Control Shift I is the is the shortcut here. So if I run it, so this is my array. So now if I try to run the sort as is, like I did last time, where we converted, where we sorted text and it worked beautifully, we'll do num dot sort. Here this, and watch what happens. So this is our original, and this is our sorted value. So it listed 1, 100, 15, 15, 46, 2, 23, 29, 3. So what's happening? So as you can see, it's treating this as if it was uh, text. So uh, the letter A is less than B. So here, 1 is less than the 2 here. Uh, so the sort is a little quirky. But JavaScript lets you actually use something called a compare function to determine which value is greater or lesser. And let's take a look at how that works. So I'm just entering some space for uh, better visibility to better readability. We'll enter a function. And this function will take in two values, so a and b. So how the sort function, how the sort method actually works is it takes two values at a time and compares them and sees if they're uh, if they are lesser or greater than the other, and then it uh, and then it sorts them. Uh, you should actually watch the bubble sort tutorial that I have on C++ that I did many years ago, with, where I explain how the bubble sort works, where it just compares two values at a time until it gets through the rest, until it gets through the entire array. And this is exactly what uh, JavaScript is doing: is comparing two values at a time, which is a and b. A is the first value passed, and then b is the second value passed. So if it's comparing one and fifty-five, a will be one, b will be fifty-five. So in curly braces, we're going to do return a minus b. So what's happening here? I'll tell you. So, but first, let's run it and see if this actually worked. So if I run it, so this is the original. And this is our sorted value, and it looks so much better. 1, 2, 3, 7, 8, 9, blah, 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 34, 53. And that makes much more sense. So what's exactly happening here? So to visualize it can be a little confusing, but uh, like I said, the function here is uh, comparing two values at a time. So let's say we're val comparing 1 and 55. So I'm just going to do some rough typing in here. Uh, I'll have to delete it other so we get syntax errors and whatnot. So here in the return value, we're doing a minus b, so we'll be doing a 1 minus 55. Uh, and to the program, to the JavaScript, it'll say it's minus 54. Since the value is less than a 0, it tells JavaScript that the first value, the value a, is actually less than the value b, which is 55, because it's a negative value. So it'll keep this sorted as is. And then it'll compare the next two values, so 55 minus 32 and that's going to be a 23 since it's a positive value it's telling JavaScript that wow 55 is bigger than 32 we need to flip this so what happens in the program is let me just copy this down since it just compared these two it'll actually flip them so we'll do move this here here to this and now the first three values look 132 and 53 
Okay. Next, what it's going to do is it's going to look at 55 and 23. It will be 55 minus 23 equals to 32. And it's saying again, 55 is less than 23. So we'll do, and it'll switch 55 and 23, and it'll do it again with uh, the 3, 55 and 3. It'll move this over here, and then it'll do 2 again. It'll move it over here. Um, uh, and then it'll compare 57 and 100, and I'm like, wait, now this is okay. Now it's not bigger than this. So it's going to go back here and then start just bubbling up. So this is where the bubble sort comes from. This is just a special visual, just a, a rough visualization of what's happening in the program. Uh, I hope it makes sense. So now if you want to actually reverse the sort, you can actually do B minus A, and it'll put them in descending order. So instead of using you know num.reverse, you can do num.sort and use a compare function here and return b minus a. So I hope it makes sense. I would recommend that you visit the, the array sort uh, page on W3Schools. They have more examples so you can try and get a grasp of it. It is really interesting. So if you ever have issues sorting numeric values in arrays, this is the way to get around. Uh, that's all I have for sorting uh, numeric values in arrays. I hope you found this useful. Uh, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please ask in the comments below. And remember to visit my website at easyprogramming.net. Have a good one.